everyone! Happy New Year! It's Mao from Sparkly Belly. I wanted to start the new year with a DIY project that has been requested by many dancers and that's ballady dress. Ballady dresses are useful when you want to dance more folk or country pieces like ones with canes and fun shabby pieces. They can be made fitted or loose and can be made simple or heavily decorated. So in this three-part series, you'll see how to make this loosely fitted, simple yet elegant ballady dress with a keyhole neckline completed with a matching hip scarf. In this video, you'll see how to make a custom pattern for this dress. So let's get started. To make this ballady dress, you need a long sleeve shirt. Find a shirt that is loosely fitted to your body. You'll use this shirt as a pattern. A safety pin. The neckline pattern. If you want to make the keyhole neckline, print out this neckline pattern and cut it out. You can get this pattern from the blog post and the link is in the description. 2 meters of stretch fabric. Vertical stripes are common for this type of dress, but I think you can use any patterns or just plain solid color. Make sure the fabric has a good stretch. And basic sewing tools. First, put on your pattern shirt and measure four things. The largest part of your hip, the distance between the end of your shirt to the largest part of your hip. Your shirt may end above the largest part of your hip or below. Make a note of that as well. In my case, below my hip. The bottom of your neck to the floor. Try to follow your curves when you measure this. And the slit top to the floor. Decide where you want the side slit to start and measure from there to the floor. I just picked the mid thigh area. Then on your shirt, carefully mark where your elbow is with a safety pin and take the shirt off. We'll also quickly do a little calculation before we start. Let's take the hip measurement, that's the largest part of your hip, and divide it by 1.2. This accounts for the stretch of the fabric. And divide it by 4. This is the number we'll use next. Spread your fabric on a flat surface and fold it by the calculated hip measurement plus a few centimeters or an inch. Make sure the fold is perpendicular to the direction of the stretch. Place the neckline pattern and align the fold line to the fold of the fabric. I made this pattern to help you create the keyhole neckline, but it is based on my measurement, so you may have to adjust it according to your size. No matter what size you are, trace the neckline only here. Now flip your shirt inside out and fold it in half. Place it on the fabric and align the fold of the shirt and the fold of the fabric. And try to align the end of the neckline you drew with the shoulder seam of your shirt. If your shirt has a wider neckline, just extend the line smoothly to meet the shoulder seam. If your shirt has a smaller neckline, mark the end of the neckline you drew on your shirt with a pin. From there, just trace the shoulder seam and the side of your shirt with a 1 cm or a half an inch seam allowance. Once you get to the bottom of your shirt, take the measurement of the distance between the bottom of your shirt and the largest part of your hip. If your shirt ended above your hip, measure the distance below the bottom of your shirt. If your shirt ended below the largest part of your hip like mine, measure the distance above the bottom of your shirt. At this point, measure the calculated hip measurement from the fold of your fabric plus 1 cm or half an inch seam allowance. Now this may be inside or outside of the width of your shirt and it's okay. We'll just connect the line smoothly, just freehand. Then from the top of the shoulder seam, measure your measurement from the bottom of your neck to the floor plus 1 cm or half an inch seam allowance. And extend the line all the way down to the length. Same width as the calculated hip measurement plus 1 cm or half an inch. Connect all the dots and you should have something like this. One last thing to do before we cut this out is mark the measurement of your slit plus 1 cm or half an inch from the bottom of the dress. Now cut this out carefully and make a notch or a few millimeters small snip at the slit mark, both layers together. There you have the front panel of your ballady dress. Next, we fold the fabric again to make a back panel. 
It's pretty much the same process except for the neckline. So place your shirt there along the fold and if the neckline of your shirt was wider than the pattern, just trace your shirt with a 1cm or half an inch seam allowance. If the neckline of your shirt was smaller like mine, mark the beginning of the back neckline at the fold, then mark at the pin you placed earlier. Just fold over the neckline of your shirt and just connect the dots freehand. From there, trace the shoulder seam and the rest with the 1 cm or half an inch seam allowance. And rest is the same. Measure the calculated hip measurement plus the seam allowance. Connect the lines. Measure the length. Mark the slit and cut. And of course, if it's easier, you can first make this pattern on a large piece of paper, then trace it on your fabric. There you have the back panel. And the rest is simple. Fold your fabric again and make sure the stretch is perpendicular to the fold. Place one of the shirt sleeves and align the longer fold of the sleeve with the fold of the fabric. Trace the sleeve with a 1 cm or half an inch seam allowance. When you get to the end of the sleeve, measure 5 cm or 2 inches and connect it with the rest with straight lines. Then mark where you put a safety pin on the fold of the fabric. Cut it out carefully. Make a notch at the top edge that will be connected to the shoulder seam later. And cut along the fold all the way to the elbow mark. Repeat this one more time to get another sleeve ready. So now you have all pieces of the dress ready. At this point, you can serge all the raw edges if you like, but it's stretch material so it won't fray. Next week in part 2 of the Ballady Dress series, I'll show you how to put all of these pieces together. So stay tuned and subscribe to the Sparkly Belly newsletter on sparklybelly.com to get updates. And for now, go ahead and get started on cutting out your custom Ballady Dress pattern. If you found awesome fabric to make your Ballady dress out of, share a picture of it on Sparkly Belly's Facebook group. You can get the free keyhole neckline pattern on my blog, the link is below. And if you want to make more costuming bits, check out my free course, Belly Dance Costume Making 101. All the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!